Oh. First stop of the day, petrol station. Good morning world, welcome back to our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We are here in the small town of Aktash in the Altai mountain region of Russia. Yes, and look at this surrounding. This is a crazy stunning area. We'd been told whenever we mentioned that we were heading through the Altai region, they were all like, oh Altai, it's so beautiful there. It's so nice with the mountains. And you know what? They're completely right. It is absolutely stunning here. And I think today's gonna to be a spectacular ride. And uh, here's a little rib update. For those of you who've been following, you'll know that we fell off a lot of times towards the end of Mongolia when we were following some crazy sandy and gravelly tracks. <sighs> we fell over. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Ah! So this day is just going from bad to worse. Oh no, 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 damn it! That's left me with a bit of an injury. I'm not sure what's going on, whether it's a broken rib, but man, I can tell you my ribs really hurt and I can only sleep on one side and doing any sort of crazy movements. It really hurts, basically. It's not too good, especially because we have to push on for another yeah, a few days. <laughs> yeah, so we now have only seven days left on our Russian visa that we got over a year ago. Literally, we're down to the wire now. So we have seven days to reach the border of Kazakhstan. So I don't have a map of this part of Russia to show you guys the route, but I can tell you the plan is to head north up this road to the city of Barnaul and there we are going to turn westward towards the border and the Kazakhstan city of Semey. So we estimate that it should be two rides from here to Barnaul and then one ride from Barnaul to the border meaning that we're going to cross the border with about four days to spare. Normally we should be able to reach Barnaul actually in one day but we're splitting it in two just to take it a bit easier. And also it's gonna give us a little bit more time to enjoy this beautiful, beautiful mountain road. Also, if we make it in time, at the end of today, we are gonna be visiting a bison sanctuary and nursery. This is the only place in Altai where you can see the rare European bison. So if we can make it before it closes, it's gonna be awesome. Yes, yeah, so the closing time is five o'clock and our navigation says it will take us three hours and 35 minutes to get there it's already 11 45 so better hit the road let's go I said before we are heading through a mountain range called the Altai Mountains and Altai means gold and it's actually a shared word between Mongolian languages, Russian languages, Kazakh languages. They all refer to this region as Altai. And actually the Altai Mountains are right on the border between four countries, between China, Russia, Mongolia, and Kazakhstan. It stretches for 2,525 kilometers, which is 1,569 miles. It goes all the way down to the Gobi Desert in Mongolia, so pretty much all all the mountains that we've been following along have been the Altai Mountains. This entire state of Russia is called the Altai Republic and it's a super popular state in this part of Russia where people coming to hike, to kayak, to whitewater raft, to mountain climb, to rock climb. It's just an adventure playground here. It's a pretty uh, adventurous place for sure. It's like the Alps but with no people 
and very little development yes. so it's really a super wild place and it's actually home to a lot of really super cool animals including snow leopards wolverines wolves bears this is like the real deal wilderness and for those of you guys who have seen the youtube channel where these guys are like sitting in a forest and they're throat singing and playing this um traditional guitar that is altai folk music it's like that's basically how it sounds and it sounds so cool i can just really hear that as we're riding through Good. <laughs> yeah, it's a really, really, really special place here. It's barely traffic here on the road and it has a perfect smooth main tarmac road as well. I'm really, really thankful for the road. <laughs> Me too. It almost feels at the moment like our shock is not completely broken until we get to like a speed bump and then it's like bouncy, yes. bouncy, bouncy. Anyway, it's really a nice relaxing ride like this is a dream ride here because it's so funny you know riding around half of the globe now you think like ah uh, maybe there is no surprise anymore and you think like wow okay this is something different i'm more than impressed really this is like wallpaper here this, <laughs> these are like wallpaper views <laughs> So we just stopped here on the side of the road because I saw the word archaeological and we translated the like info board at the front and apparently here there is a ancient rock carving of a deer which is two and a half thousand years old. There's so many of them. When you look in detail, yeah. you can see so many of them. Cool, wow. It's a whole herd. There's actually pictures of animals all across the rocks here on the whole of this cliffside here. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's just amazing because they say on the sign that they are 2,500 years old. I think there were like some new drawings as well in there. <laughs> like I saw a horse and it didn't, it didn't look like an old horse. It just didn't fit, no. <laughs> no. So this is the Chewy Deerstone, a depiction of a warrior figure. So that was a nice little surprising stop on the side of the road. A little bit of Altai history. <laughs> bye bye. I like the mix of like four wheel drive with the motorbike and then the normal car. <laughs> Well, wow, that's a crazy view, hey? Look at that. Impressive. So here is actually the confluence of two rivers. One really big one here called the Katoon River and one that's going just around that headland there, which is called the Chuya River. Wow, what a spectacular valley, hey? Wow. I don't know how fast we're gonna go today because we just keep stopping at these awesome places. Wow, amazing. Look at the selection of teas that they're selling here. Oh my God, that's a lot of different tea. I just love the smell, you know? I thought the English were like the tea connoisseurs, but no, apparently the Russians. And then here there's a ton of different cakes. I think they're cake, right? Amazing. Nice. Hoo -hoo, some kind of valley, hey? Wow. Incredible. It just doesn't stop, you know? It just keeps going and going and going. The river just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger as we go along. <laughs> Look at these cows. Yeah, they're... they don't really mind, hey? No, they're pretty content with where they are. 
Yeah. Good job, guys. <laughs> so just like, ah, oh, this seems like a good spot to stop. Yeah. I guess the grass verges have some of the best pasture, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Привет! Как дела? Хорошо. Хорошо, хорошо. Juice, yeah. I don't know the word for juice, I'm afraid. Okay, you got some bread, yep. This bread. Oh, what's that? Very brown bread, yeah. Good. Good. Oh, counting everything with an abacus. Is she actually using it? Or is she using the calculator? She did move it. This one is like... <laughs> cool, yes. Yeah, look, 346. Oh, cool. Did you want a bottle of vodka with that? Spasiva. 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 Angle. Got a good haul, hey? Yes. I think there's going to be some nice bread for lunch. Yeah. Oh, your gloves. Thank you. So it looks like we are well and truly back in the tiger forest. Look at these beautiful trees. And this is the same forest that we were following pretty much all the way from Vladivostok to Ulan Ude in our first Russian leg. And now we're back in it. This forest actually makes up the largest forest in the entire world. And I think in England they call it the Boreal Forest, but the Russians they call it the Tiger spelt T-A-I-G-A, -A, not like the Siberian tiger. But the Siberian tiger does live in the tiger. So we decided to push on and postpone lunch because we're really trying to get to this bison nursery before it closes. It's currently 4.20 and the place is supposed to close at 5, but we have made it here and hopefully that means we can see some bison today. So next left turn here. Okay. It's coming up in a minute. Oh Let's my see. god. See how the road is. Yeah. Look, there's a picture of the bison. Yo! Yeah, they look awesome, but I'm not sure about this way here actually. I think as long as we take it nice and easy, it's only two kilometers. Here it is, bison parking. Cool. Oh, the info board is only in Russian. I think we're gonna have to Google translate that one. Hoop, hoop, okay. Bye, Bumblebee. I think I spot already a bison. <laughs> bison, bison, bison. Oh, look at those deer antlers. Oh yeah. Amazing, look at that. They're absolutely huge. They have really, really big eyes. Wow. Oh, I just touched the bison on the nose. Wow, this is absolutely massive. Look at his head. Wow. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. So in 1982, 11 of these guys, purebred Belovsky bisons, were brought here from Moscow. And this remains the only herd of this species of bison west of the Ural Mountains. So these bison were actually here historically in Siberia. This herd here is actually an experiment by the Federal Altai Scientific Center of Agrobiotechnologies. That's a mouthful, isn't it? So basically they were brought here to see how they would do being reintroduced back into Siberia. This herd here, which is now 30 individuals strong, is a valuable insurance fund for this ancient species. Okay, I'm sorry about earlier, okay? Here's an apple to make up for it. He's like, I accept your apology. Are you ready for some lunch now? I'm hungry. 
Oh, what is it? Angry. You're hungry. <laughs> That's some good bread, look at that. It's like thick, it's full, it's like a whole meal. And this is mushroom cream cheese. We are absolutely going crazy today. <laughs> if this was like being sold in London, this would be gourmet food. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just snacking on truffle cheese on soft sourdough rye. Bye bye bisons. Bye bye. Oh, amazing animal. Pretty scary actually in the end. But yeah, always so nice to see if people like putting an effort into saving such an incredible species. They've tripled their herd since the 80s, so that's a really, really positive thing. That's really, really cool. So we're gonna head now to the next town to get some fuel, and then we're gonna see where we can find a nice place, maybe a campsite for tonight. We'll see what we can find on the map. Yeah, and we have to see how the weather develops because it looks a little bit uh, rainy over there and we got already a little bit rain on us but I would absolutely love to find a nice spot to camp there's so much beautiful nature around yeah exactly kind of thing we have to do isn't exactly. it exactly three yeah okay no four yeah okay okay Spasiba. Spasiba. thank you here okay okay Spasiba. All right, here we are. A little bit down on the side stand in the grass there. Okay, all right, now that's good. So we were just riding past, heading to the nearest town, and we saw this little camping spot on the side of the road next to the river, and we were just like, should we just stop and camp here? It looks absolutely beautiful and peaceful. The guy said it was only 800 rubles, which is like eight pounds. Eight pounds yeah. That's a cheap night as well, isn't it? Yeah. And look, we've got our own little Yes. like covered <laughs> dining area which is cool yep. we do have a little bit of rain but it doesn't look that bad there's a bit of blue sky there yeah i think we will just pitch up the tent and then we can sit and enjoy the view it's like right on this beautiful river and opposite is just the tiger forest <sighs> i always love camping <laughs> even though it's raining let's pitch up our tent then eh yep. cool Yes, we got the tent set up. We got the tent set up. We got the tent set up. Half for me to dance with my ribs. And we made it. And how happy and alive! Yay! Yeah, it was a really, really nice day in the end. The road remained beautiful and smooth, snaking its way through all the valleys. It was just really nice. A little bit of archaeological history, some amazing views, and some bisons. You can't get better than that. No, you can't really get better than that. It's like more than I imagined. It was just a perfect ride, really. So that puts us two more rides to the Kazakhstan border, which is absolutely awesome. So we're just going to have a good rest tonight and make our way even closer tomorrow. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.